there was a new king. No more Babylon. Now it was the Medes and the Persians who were in charge. Remember? The chest and arms of silver? Yes. And that king, his name was King Darius. Some people say Darius. I didn't live in those times and I'm not a Medo-Persian. So I don't know really how to say it. So I will say King Darius. King Darius wanted rulers for his kingdom. There were many, many towns and provinces. He can't make decisions for all of them. He needed some other people to help him. Oh, and King Darius said, hmm, this man, Daniel, he is very wise. I'm going to choose him and two other wise men to help me to rule over the kingdom, to make decisions for all the people. That was a good choice, wasn't it? Wasn't that good to choose Daniel? Was Daniel a bad leader? No way! Daniel loved God, and Daniel had made a good decision to follow God all those years from when he was a little boy, stolen by King Nebuchadnezzar, and now he was an old man, and he still loved God, he still obeyed God, he listened to God, and so God was helping him to be wise. It was a good decision. But there were some men who were not happy. They probably said, what? We don't want to work with that Jew. He's not a Medo-Persian. He's not even Babylonian. He's a Jew. We don't like him. So the men, the other rulers, had to come up with a plan to get rid of Daniel. They wanted Daniel to go away. Hmm. What would they think of? What would the plan be? What could they do to get rid of the very good and wise Daniel? We'll find out later. Not today. Later. Bye. Daniel was a man of prayer. Daily prayed me three times. Till one day they had him cast in a den of lions. So they could not harm him. Daniel was a man of prayer. Daily prayed he three times. Till one day they had him cast in a den of lions. So they could